welcome to News to Us, a weekly roundup of not quite the news from the superstar radio outlaws of Town Square Media. I'm James G. I'll have your top story, radical changes to the downtown redevelopment phantasmagorium. I'm Angel D. And coming up, we've got a teen crime scene. And I'm Lori Crawford with your entertainment news involving Robin Thicke, his dad, his stepmom, and sex. Can't wait for all that. But right now, here's me, James G. Thanks, James. I know you're highly sedated on Benadryl and mosquito bites. You're doing a great job. All right, the city council and affected business owners met over the holiday and completely scrapped current plans for downtown redevelopment while unanimously approving a plan that would redevelop the city of Amarillo. A large invisible dome will be constructed over the entire city, locking out the undesirables. This new dome plan would include rerouting Interstate 27 around the outer circumference of the dome, freeing Amarillo from the anarchists in Lubbock. It's still not known how a door will be constructed on the dome to allow top flight musical acts to once again perform in our city, but once that door is installed, citizens can look forward to seeing current acts once again, and not the cavalcade of has-beens and never-was acts performing at local bars silly enough to host them. Stephen King is listed as the primary consultant on this plan, which, much like the original downtown redevelopment phantasmagorium, has about as much chance of being completed while you're still alive as this new dome idea. And now here's a look at your weather. Hi, I'm intern Everett with this week's weather. Last week Amarillo was hit with some torrential downpours causing the streets to flood in a way that would have scared even Noah. Although, although there was some flooding throughout the city, the insane inflatable 5K went off Saturday without a hitch and contestants left covered in mud but having a lot of fun. This week should be a lot nicer in Amarillo with highs in the 75s and 80s all throughout the week and very few scattered showers. Thanks, Everett. The teen science crime team, team has been apprehended. Five 17-year-old examples of juvenile delinquents were apprehended while impersonating good citizens of Amarillo. Their crime spree most resembled a six-year-old playing Grand Theft Auto without a controller. Officers responded to a call at the 5800 block of Northeast 20th on reports of the teens allegedly breaking into cars. The authorities pulled them over, found loose change, electronics, and clothing. Apparently, the teens learned at an early age to canvas the seat cushions to fund the next excursion to McDonald's in order to raid the dollar menu. The youths are currently incarcerated and searching for a cooler gang name than the teen science crime team. Oscar here with your Health Minute once again. And, uh, well, summertime is coming real fast. Springtime is here, and that means windows are open, doors are open, and you're letting all these bugs in. Well, here in the office, the station, we have death, dead moths here, and it's not great because it's one dead in my office. So I'm gonna use my handy pliers because I don't want something to get me sick, like Ebola. So we're gonna pick this little dude up. He don't want to get up. He's stuck to the ground. Please close your doors and windows because you do not want to catch Ebola from these dead moths. That's your health minute for today. Thank you, Oscar, for that lovely moth, Ebola, thingamajiggy. You just have to think for Ebola, don't you? Now, let's talk about some blurred lines. Robin Thicke's stepmom told Us Weekly that she and Alan Thicke, Robin's dad, you know, the guy from Growing Pains, make love to Robin's music. She said that when they do get freaky, they love Robin's song, Sex Therapy. Well, Robin then took to Twitter and said, Dad, I hear what you said and told the Us Weekly. I need you to give back all of my music immediately. Um, yeah, uh, ew, that's absolutely disgusting. Can I have the Ebola back, please? All right, you've stuck around to the very end of News to Us, which puts you in the upper 20 percentile of our viewers. Stick around for next week. We'll have another episode of this phantasmagorium. Because remember, if it's news to you, it's news to us. It's a multi-use tool. You're recording? I hope not. <laughs> no, not yet. On reports of the teen science... What is a teen science crime scene? What the hell is that? Teen science crime. He's spreading <laughs> Ebola today. Uh, a Yay, demo. more Ebola. Actually, I don't eat Ebola. Don't forget about West Nile and <laughs> antivirus. <laughs> That's next week. Right. Bird flu. Yeah, I love his Ebola crap, though. It's yeah, the Ebola's good. Yeah, my cheers. James, you need to go over this way just a scooch. There you go. And then, yeah.
It's my favorite part. Do I need to come up? If, what if like we tape it to this thing and put it underneath it? Will you see it? That's not a bad thought, really. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Take a I picture do. of it and said the redneck teleprompter? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she said that when they do get freaky, they love Robin's song, Sec... That, 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 uh, yeah. That's disgusting.